Ukrainian forces conducted counteroffensive operations in at least three sectors of the front line and made gains on the 19th of June, says the Institute for the Study of War. Now, Russian mill bloggers reported that Ukrainian troops continued attacks northwest, northeast, and southwest of Bakhmut on the 19th of June and claimed that Ukrainian forces advanced northeast of Bakhmut and conducted additional attacks near Berhivka, six kilometers north of Bakhmut, Yahidne, immediately north of Bakhmut, and Klishivka, seven kilometers southwest of Bakhmut. Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Maler additionally announced that over the past week, Ukrainian troops in the Tavrysk direction, this is the Zaporizhia direction, have advanced up to seven kilometers and liberated 113 square kilometers of territory, including eight settlements in western Donetsk and western Zaporizhia regions. Russian mill bloggers claim that Ukrainian troops attacked south of Velika Novosilka in western Donetsk region. Geolocated footage posted on the 19th of June confirms that Ukrainian troops liberated Petihatka, about 25 kilometers southwest of Orihiv in western Zaporizhia region. The UK Defence Ministry assessed that Russia has likely deployed large portions of the Dnipro grouping of forces from the left bank of Kherson region to the Zaporizhia and Bakhmut directions to respond to Ukrainian counteroffensive actions over the past 10 days. Now, the Institute for the Study of War said earlier Ukrainian forces may be temporarily pausing counteroffensive operations to re-evaluate their tactics for the future operations. The think tank has previously noted that Ukraine has not yet committed the majority of its available forces to counteroffensive operations, nor has it launched its main effort.